questions about the egg? Um, what's the speed of the of the missile when it comes off? Our maximum speed? It's about Mach 2. Mach 2? It screams. It's quick. Nice. Go uh, to about 16,000 feet. Uh -huh. Half a mile to six miles for the range. Is it uh, susceptible to jamming or not really? It is. It is? So I see that it's mobile. Uh, is the, the radar in the middle or all on top? Yeah, kind of so what you're looking at is actually the entire assembly from acquisition all the way through the kill. So see the uh, the, the mesh assembly all the way at the top? Mm -hmm. That's your air, basically your air surveillance radar. So that's what initially acquires a target. It rotates 360 degrees and scans the air constantly. Once there's something identified, then this entire assembly on top of the vehicle also rotates 360 degrees to point toward where that target is. Okay. Once it does that, this flat panel in the middle with our, our squadron patch is what's actually going to continue to track the target. Once the target is within range for the missiles, just about uh, pull it six miles, then you notice how you've got two round flat radar panels on each side, right? Mm -hmm. That's because this system can launch two uh, Gecko missiles at the same time against a single target, which means you effectively need to feed data to each of those Both. missiles. Now what's actually communicating with the missile, if you look at the white square just below each one of those, mm -hmm. the white square is your data link. And so the missiles themselves use command guidance, which means they're blind. They rely on information from the gecko in order to to move toward the target. Oh, it's a semi-active radar. No, not no? even uh, not even semi-active. Huh. It's command guidance. So um, what the data link does is that feeds the info direct to the missile and it effectively steers the missile. Um, in other words, for semi-active, you would have the missile having a receiver. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, what's unique about this is if you look, I guess from this angle, you see the flat radar panel with the squadron patch, right? Yes. Go up and you see the circular disc above that, mm -hmm. all the way yeah, up the top. So that's a lens cover, there's an electro-optical uh, infrared camera underneath of that, and that can be used to acquire a target visually using EO or IR. So in other words, you don't necessarily need the radar assembly to do the job. And that makes this equipment lethal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could do both. Exactly. And uh, yeah, yep. infrared, so, you don't even know about it. It's a crew of five. You've got a driver, here's a compartment, you've got a commander that's just behind the hatches in the top of the vehicle to access the compartment. And then there are three uh, operator stations right about the midsection of the vehicle, one right next to another. So in other words, you go from initial acquisition all the way through kill using the three operators who are sitting side by side. Hmm. Okay. Um, notice the body of the vehicle, it's like a duck boat. It's yeah. amphibious. Oh, wow. So this actually floats. Cool. Um, if you were to go and look at the back of uh, each corner of the vehicle, there are flaps that open up. The left one is open for you to peek into. If you peek in, you'll see about a foot into that opening is a uh, propeller. That's a propulsion. Yeah, propeller. So it'll move a few miles an hour through water. Uh, it's got these big six massive tires. Uh, it's road mobile, so it moves about 50 miles an hour on a highway, Pretty which fast. allows it to keep up with troops that it's protecting. Mm -hmm. it's designed to be a helicopter killer, uh, but ultimately it's effective low to me medium altitude against air. Yep, if, if you're in the envelope, then it's good. it'll look for you. You got it. Well, thanks. You're welcome.
Hey, not much. Was this uh, well, the paint was it inspired by the Takba to uh, 57? Yeah. Right. Nice. And that's my jet. This one? 